What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. Man, win, lose, or draw, this is probably going to be the best welterweight fight we had probably since uh, Hagler and Tommy Hearns had that fight. You know, they matched up so even, and, and they styles, in, in a sense, complement each other. You know, both of them punch hard. Both of them like knockouts. Spence is a pressure fighter that comes forward. Bud is a is a uh, a more calculated like uh you know like like a like a student of the game type fighter. You know, Bud's the type that to, to, you know look look at you and, and size you up and break you down. You know, and they both break fighters down. Spence break you down with hard punches to the body and and pressure. Bud break you down with big shots that you don't see. And uh, you know, you know, from, from, they both set you up. I can't wait to see this fight. Uh, I like Spence a lot in this fight. Bud is Bud got a lot of heart. He got a lot of heart. He got a big ego. And I've noticed, you know, uh, when I go back and look at his fights, his old fights, if you hit Bud hard, and, uh, and you know, if you hit him clean. He'll somewhat throw whatever uh, he'll throw his game plan away for a round or two and just fight until he get until he get that back, you know. Uh, and I think I think you know the level of fighters he's been fighting. I just don't feel like they, they, they he fought the right people to get him ready for a fight like this. Uh, the Sean Porter fight, if the real Sean would have came in, that would have helped. And the Sean he got that he fought gonna help some. Kell Brook too, but. I can't wait to see how he gonna be with a guy his own size, you know, uh, on his level. That's uh, South Paul too. That's punching hard. That's gonna tell you know. I, I I'm I'm very curious to see what Bud can and can't take on on the on the punch side. Cause I re, I just remember seeing Gamboa shake him, uh, rock him good, and Gamboa a little bitty dude. Uh, but now they was at 135 pounds. Who's to say Bud wasn't starving himself to have that fight? So that's why I don't stand on it too much. I just know that I seen him uh, get shook pretty good. He handled it well, and, and he ended up knocking knocking Gamboa out. But I'm thinking Spence hit probably two or three times harder than Gamboa, and you're going to get caught. Uh, Bud got them real high cheekbones. His face going to swell up. I mean, th this going to... If 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 they go the whole twelve rounds, which I don't see, man, Bud gonna look. He, he, he it'll be similar to uh. No, it won't be as bad as uh. Rock mine with Holyfield headbutt him, but it, I mean he gonna. I'm thinking if they go twelve rounds, you seen how Loma face look. Loma look like the hamburger meat when he came out that ring with Devin. Uh, I think you won't be able to see the blemishes on 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 Bud face like that, but Earl gonna be touching. Him. As good as Bud is, uh, one thing these dudes don't have when they compare them to Floyd and shit and stuff like that, they all got just about most of them got them leaks in their defense, big leaks where they catching big shots. Uh, Bud gonna get caught a few times just because of his, you know, he can be lackadaisical on defense a lot. And I just see by the fifth, sixth round, it's once it turned to a fight, which I think I don't know if it's gonna take that long. Similar to Hagler and Hearns. That's why I said that once it turned into a fight, it ain't going back to no boxing match. They going to bang it out for the rest of the fight. Once whatever the fight gets started, that's what the fight going to be in. I, I, I feel like the way how Terrence Crawford and played with Earl and forced him to wait all this time doing all these, you know, just, just you know, for whatever reason. Like now, the stalled him and had him sitting out the ring another 15 months. He, you know, Bud Lutter had some type of psychological advantage. Uh, I think Spence going to want to make him pay for all this. I think he going to want to punish that boy. Similar to how he did Mikey Garcia. I see one of them type fights, but I think he going to finish Bud all the way on off because I think he going to have to. I think he's not going to be able to just play with Bud and just outbox him and beat him up for 12 rounds without having to really put him down because at some point, Bud going to bite down and just start fighting in there. Uh, and once, like I say, once that fight break out, it, the boxing match is over. over uh, we finna get, we going to get our money's worth on this one. There ain't no way possible this ain't going to be a good fight. It ain't no possible way possible. It ain't going to be a great fight. Somebody got to win. Somebody got to lose. Uh, I got Spence all day, but this 
but I will say this on paper. This this is uh, Errol Spencer's toughest test as well because he hadn't fought Keith Thurman yet. So I can't wait to for them to had the 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 the, 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 uh, the official press conference. Hopefully that's coming soon and see what's up, man, and uh, see who the best man in the welterweight division is. I'm all, I'm certain. Uh, Earl gonna win this fight, and I said to the cows, "Come on, if Bud can't hurt Spence, he's gonna be in big trouble." But uh, but that's it for me on this video. Like the video, hit the like and subscribe. Till next time, Spence, Bill Dog, I'm out.